280 residential units, including studios, one-bedroom flats, three-bedroom townhouses, and one mixed-use building will be built along Tank Farm Road. 11 units will be dedicated to deed-restricted affordable units. The state actually defines affordable housing for us, and so we it's based off the county um, uh, household income median. And so we, we look at the county as a, large, as a whole, to identify the average uh, household income. And then the affordable housing uh, thresholds are determined based off of that as a base. Kyle Bell says eligibility for affordable housing depends on household size, but it is typically priced at less than 30% of a person's income. There are multiple levels of affordability. You have moderate income, uh, you have uh, low income, very low income, and there's also a category for extremely low income. And so then certain units are dedicated for um, those different thresholds uh, depending on the projects. Affordable guidelines are reviewed each year and can be adjusted. For this project, the affordable units will be for sale for moderate income households, but could change to rentals. The project will also include new infrastructure for pedestrians and cyclists. So their design will basically have, you know, your normal curb and then a landscape planter strip and then a sidewalk level protected bike lane. Uh, and then also a, a sidewalk like you'd see on many streets. There are also plans for a roundabout at the intersection of Tank Farm and Santa Fe Road. Constructing uh, a new roundabout at the intersection of Santa Fe Road and Tank Farm that will be their primary access road. Um, the city has a roundabouts first policy where with new intersections, we look at those as a first option because uh, they've been proven to be more efficient in terms of congestion, delays, greenhouse gases, but also safety. Although there's no set date when construction will begin, city officials say the earliest it will begin will be next year. Live in San Luis Obispo, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. All right, Kimberly, thank you. City council members agreed in the meeting that improving the area is crucial to the future of the city.